Now for the filter section. So before the filter section, you get these three sliders over here that let you boost the signal or attenuate the signal that's coming in from the three different engines. There's also a pan dial for the individual engines. And then there's a switch to route each of the three engines through the filter. All right, so I'm gonna change up the wavetable. I'll switch it to a basic sawtooth. Let's turn on the second engine as well. Let's try this game wavetable. I'll set it to an octave below. I'll also turn on the third engine. And let's choose one of the wavetables here. How about robot ramp? Maybe detune this a bit. Set it to a fifth above. Turn on unison for the third engine. Maybe for the first as well. Alright, so now we have a thick, rich tone coming into the filter. I'll just re-level the different engines, keeping the first one loudest, and panning the second and third a bit off-center. And now let's send all these three engines through the filter. So right now we're in the ladder 24 dB per octave slope mode. We get all these other modes. There's a big frequency dial that sets the cutoff frequency of the filter. Very clean filter. Let's add some resonance. Lose a little bit of low end as you would expect on a ladder mode. We can also add some drive. There's a nice little LED that shows you how much you're driving that circuit. Very nice. There's a keyboard tracking option here, just like on the oscillator section, as well as on the spectral filter. So if it's all the way down, that cutoff stays where it is at, irrespective of the note being played. But if you increase that, as you play higher notes, that cutoff frequency opens up a bit. Pretty straightforward. Next, we have this modulation option here. Right now it's set to envelope 2, but we can swap it out to any of these other options. So this is the shape that we're using. So you can create a nice pluck like this. At the bottom here, we have velocity sensitivity for this modulation. I like that there's consistency with controls from the spectral filter moving on to the main filter. Let's try some of the other filter modes. So you have a high pass, band pass, and low pass, all at 12 dB per octave. Then there's a multiple feedback mode version of the three. So this is slightly more aggressive. If you give it some resonance, it'll be a bit more obvious. Now you can hear a little bit of that crunch there. Let's exaggerate that a bit more. So when compared to the regular ladder filter, you'll notice it's not as aggressive. Nice to have options like this. Then there's this key 35 low pass mode. This is a little bit like the COG MS20 filter, except with a 12 dB per octave slope. One way to compare these filters is to use an LFO to modulate the filter cutoff and then switch between the different filters. So that's a ladder mode. That's a standard SVF. The MFP low pass. That one's a lot more aggressive sounding. And then the K35. So that's the filter section. Clean or crunchy? Choose what works best for you. Next, we'll check out the amp section.